Good day everyone, this is just going to be a quick tip video on how to build the guitar pedal uh, test box. Um, you, before I go on to that, you probably notice I'm actually in a different location today. Um, a few videos will probably be from this location because I, um, my wife said to me it's either me or the pedals and um, I chose the pedals so now I'm not living at home anymore. Um, and of course, that's a joke. Um, we we are <laughs> we aren't divorced. Um, uh, we are still very much married. It's just that um, our house is in a bit of a mess at the moment. We're doing a few things, um, so we've moved out for a uh, few months, um, and we're actually living with my parents at the moment. So, God help me and um, get me out of here. So there's a few jokes to start the video off, but anyway. Um, so yeah, the, the guitar pedal test box is something that you're going to want to have if you plan to build more than um, a couple of pedals. Um, it's pretty, it's a pretty essential um, tool to have if you're a guitar pedal builder. Um, you're going to want to build one at some point if you haven't got one already. Mine is very simple. There's complicated ones. There's ones that do all sorts of fancy things, um, which are cool. Don't get me wrong. I've just never really put the time into actually building one. Um, some that have multiple voltages that you can pick. You can pick 18 volts or 12 volts, you know. Um, uh, I've seen th there's, you know, ones with modules that you can add and, you know, there's all sorts of stuff. Um, but this is just the most basic, pretty much, one that you can build. Um, and you may remember this from, actually, a previous video, this pedal, the Silver Bullet Overdrive. I actually ripped it to pieces because it was just a bit of a nightmare build that just never worked properly um, and it was just sitting in my cupboard for so long I decided that um, it was time to time to pull it to pieces and um, before I actually I, I, I actually had two of them and in the video I pulled one apart the second one I actually kept um, pretty much functional on the inside you can see the wiring is still the same as what you usually do for offboard wiring um, so I decided with this second one, I was actually going to use it as a replacement test box for my other one because it was having a few issues. You do not need to use a metal enclosure for a test box because once you connect this up to your effect, it's going to be outside the box anyway. The only reason I'm using a metal enclosure is so that uh, is is because it was already um, it was already ready to go. So um, that's you know. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm using um, the metal enclosure. It is good also to have metal enclosure for the jacks because I noticed on my plastic um, enclosure they came loose all the time. It's quite annoying. Um, but apart from that, there's no benefit and a plastic enclosure only costs about a dollar or two as well. Um, you're obviously not going to want to invest too much money into a, um, a test box. And the other good thing about this one too was that um, I actually used pretty good components in the actual pedal. You can see that they're new trick jacks um, whereas my other test box, I used cheap stuff and the jacks w would spin around and uh, it was, yeah, it was time to replace it and I just thought that was a perfect opportunity um, because all I really had to do was just um, tap into the input, output, plus and ground. That's all you really do to build one of these things. You just basically wire up a pedal without an effect inside and where you would usually connect plus, ground, um, input and output, you just put an alligator clip on the end um, like a t as a temporary way of connecting to your um, to your effect outside the box, um, so it's very easy to put together. And you're going to want to put you're going to want to build one um, if you if you plan on doing more than just one or two builds, um, particularly with builds that you have a lot of problems with. Um, you'll be going back and forwards, um, and you don't need to add another source for, of unreliability um, to your effect. Um, you know, if, you, if you're using it, if you're using the alligator clips, sometimes they come loose, um, and then you don't know what's going on. So anyway, just a quick video. If you haven't got one, build one. They're pretty much essential. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself guitar pedal tutorials, demos, and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.